And what is up guys? Welcome back to Excelsior Sub for another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing awesome. I hopefully you are stoked for this collection review video today. It's been a while since we've done a collection review video. I have, I think, two more submissions that are lined up. So funny story, I actually had like three or four submissions that were lined up, but I had an issue where I was clearing out my email a couple months ago and I accidentally like archived all my emails and then moved them to the trash or so. I, I don't know exactly what I did, but I was trying to just get through like 1500 emails at once and I ended up deleting a bunch of collection review submissions. So if you guys have submitted your collections to me in the past um, and you haven't seen it in a video yet, you may just want to resend it to me. I'm really sorry about that. But uh, that's the last time I ever try to go through all my emails at once. So today, guys, we have a collection belonging to a member of the community named Max, who is an Australian collector. And we've had, I think, one other Australian collector in this collection review series, I believe it was Shad PW. He might have to correct me down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure he was from Australia. And he mentioned before, and Max said the same, that it is pretty difficult to get Accelerator's product down in Australia just because of uh, the shipping cost to ship from the US to Australia. It's like at least five times the uh, price that it is to ship in the USA. Cause I wanna say it cost me like, on an average, I'd say maybe like four to five bucks to ship out an item to a US buyer, but shipping to Australia or New Zealand, it's typically like five times that. It's normally 25 to $30 to ship out. And that's just for smaller items, you know, bubble mailers, small boxes. I can't imagine shipping hyperpods, track sets, anything like that to Australia. It would cost an absolute fortune. So I do have the utmost respect for these collectors in some of these other countries because, man, I cannot imagine the determination and the cost that it took to acquire all these items in these collections. So just huge props to them for, you know, soldiering through the prices and collecting anyways. So a little bit of background on Max before we jump into his collection. He said he's been... Our accelerators came out when he was four years old, so he's been collecting ever since he had to have the toys, just like most of us, you know, he saw the movies and the next thing you know, we're in Walmart dragging our parents around. But uh, he said he saw the movies when he was four and then he sort of gotten into collecting phase every two to three years. But uh, I think he said he's been collecting off and on for about 16 years now. So he actually has been here for quite a long time and his collection is really sweet. He's got a bunch of really cool items, but uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, guys, here is the big overhead view of his collection. Look at all those loose accelerators, cars, and carded cars. What a great setup he's got. I really like the uh, how he laid everything out. I love that the track sets and the sweeper are in the back. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at each part of his collection. So up first, we have a ton of loose mint accelerators cars. Just look at that view, guys. There is something about loose accelerators cars that's just absolutely gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, they look great in the package too, but just look at that army of gleaming cars. Up front and center, as you can see, we've got an almost complete Teku set. I think the only one he said he was missing was a loose mint Spectite. But uh, just check out the chicane, the baseline, the reverb, then you got the pile driver and flathead fury behind it. Just tons of rare cars, RDO8, RDO5, so on and so forth. And as we move on over to the right, we have a bunch more loose accelerators cars, including a bunch of rare Gen 2 cars like the Team Colors Carbide. And I could be wrong, but I think that might be the darker purple variation, which is a bit rarer. Um, somebody might have to correct me down in the comments. It's kind of hard to tell without having another one right next to it. And then we got the Gen 2 RDO8 as well. I see a Gen 2 baseline, it looks like in the, uh, actually that might be a McDonald's baseline. I'm not sure, but I see Team Colors Powerbomb, Realm RDO5, bunch of great cars in here. And then continuing back, we have a bunch more duplicate Accelerators cars, including, you guessed it, another Chicane. Then we have a Spectite and a second Reverb and a whole bunch more Teku vehicles. Tons of awesome duplicates in this collection. Imagine having not just one Chicane, but two Chicanes. And continuing on, we have a bunch of Accelerators recolors, including some of the Rolling Thunder, Ratified, RDO1, RDO4, a bunch of sweet looking models. And then amidst the sea of loose accelerators cars, we have all the accelerators puzzles. Well, except the uh, the riveted puzzle. He said he's still missing a riveted one, but that is what the puzzles look like when they are all together. And it looked like he framed them as well, which is a very, very nice touch. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty dope. Actually, I might have to try and track down some of those puzzles. But as you can see, there is the, the puzzles have the card art from the Synchro card. I believe that's the Vector Covlight card and the RDO6 version two card on the puzzles. Always interesting to me that they use the Vector Cove Light photo, which is a foil card, and then they have the RDO6 version 2, which is a non-foil card, but it is a, a version 2 vehicle. But then they use the regular Synchro card art, I guess because Hyper Synchro is a 3D foil, but uh, it's just kind of odd that they use, it seems like they picked the cars at random for these puzzles and then riveted. Just uh, kind of odd to me, but who knows how they chose them. And then before we switch to the other side of the board, we're just gonna take one more look at the big overhead view. As you can see down in the bottom left, there are a bunch more Gen 2 Accelerators cars that are loose like the Realm Jackhammer, the Strip Metal RDO2, Team Color Chicane, 
another Team Colors Power Bomb, just a great set of cars, and he's got a bunch of duplicates, which is even more impressive. And then we transition to the left side of his collection, and this is where it starts to get even cooler, guys. Got a great little array of items here. As you can see down in the bottom right, we have the Toy Fair Hollowback. Then on the left, we have the Dual Driller Hyperpod, and then we have a carded International Edition Chicane. And you guys know the drill. Anytime we see a carded chicane, we just have to zoom in on it. So he not only has a carded chicane, but he also has the two loose chicanes as quite the army of chicanes. And then we have the Accelerator Starter Set Case. I'm assuming it comes with the cards as well. And then we have the Hot Wheels Accelerators German Quartet cards that are right next to it on the right. And from what I understand, those are fairly rare. Like I said, they were only released in Germany, but uh, they're pretty cool little cards. I don't think there's a card game that you can play with them, but they're more just cards that have the stats of the cars on them. But uh, somebody can de definitely let me know down in the comments if I'm incorrect on that. And then moving up, we have an army of carded accelerators product. I'm um, not going to go through all of them. Looks like Riveted, Power Age, Synchro, Drift Tech, so on and so forth. Um, these days, though, seeing any sort of pile of carded accelerators is kind of rare based on what prices are doing right now on eBay. So that could be worth a small fortune in a year or two. And then in the middle, we have five carded Gen 2 cars, including a Gen 2 Realm Spectite, which is arguably the rarest or second rarest car in that line with the Strip Metal Power Age. Definitely hard to find. And then, of course, on the right, he does have a bunch of loose hyperpods, including two dual driller hyperpods, a carpoon hyperpod and a slam ram hyperpod. And I assume one of the dual drillers must have come with or actually I think it was carpoon that came with the sinister car that's down in the bottom right. And then moving on into the back, we've got the DLX hyperpods, the caterpillar crawler and the rocket socket hyperpod. And uh, he said he does have the climber hyperpod as well. It's just not featured in these photos. But then if we look further back, we've got some of the accelerators movies. I see ignition, speed of silence and a swamp beast track set. Definitely hard to find these days. I think there's one on eBay right now that's listed for like $300. So uh, definitely a hard piece to find lately. And then moving further right, we have the Accelodrome track set as well. So he has both track sets and then there's the rest of the movies and a sweeper to boot. Definitely an unreal collection. But I've got to say, guys, going back to this first shot of these loose cars, that has to be one of the prettiest shots I've ever seen. Just look at all those loose mint accelerators cars and then the Gen 2 cars in the back absolutely gorgeous probably my favorite photo of this collection for sure and then one last treat for his collection guys he said that he recently got this car carrying case from acceleracers that was only available in germany and uh i know a lot of you guys have seen the skateboard from what he said this skateboard actually goes with this carrying case and it was only released in germany to people that collected all 36 cars back in 2005 2006 so if you got all the cars then they would then send you the car carrying case and the skateboard, sort of like how the uh, the Highway 35 cars had the ultimate track set, which is very cool because I never knew that they uh, that they had a promotion like that in other countries. And uh, I just wish we could have had something like that for accelerators. That would have been a pretty big incentive for people to keep collecting, you know, because uh, the skateboard is a pretty sweet item. And this carrying case is pretty gorgeous, too. This is what the inside of it looks like for anyone that was curious. So that will wrap up Max's collection. Definitely some great pieces. So huge shout out to Max for letting us review his collection on the channel. He definitely has some super, super sick items. Uh, I'm pretty jealous. It seems like Germany had a lot of really cool items that uh, never quite made it to the USA. And I think that the average collector probably underestimates the sheer amount of accelerators items that are out there, you know, because when you're a kid, you assume, you know, okay, there's the cars, there's the cards, there's the hyper pods, there's the track sets, but we all kind of forget sometimes just how many accelerators items there are out there. I mean, as far as, you know, skateboards, carrying cases, I know I've seen that tire case a couple of times. It's like a what is it like a six spoke tire and it has spots for all the accelerators cars in it. And uh, I know they got backpacks, t-shirts, pencils, there's hats from highway 35. There's just so many items out there that uh, it's, it's a pretty big undertaking to try and collect everything. But once again, huge shout out to Max for sharing his collection with us. And if you guys want your collection featured on the accelerators hub YouTube channel, go shoot me an email. I'm going to leave it down in the description of the video. Send me photos of your collection. These photos are a great example, very well lit, well organized, you know, not blurry, great lighting. Use these pictures as an example, send me some photos of your collection and we will definitely try to get you into a collection review video at some point. I already have the next collection lined up for a collection review probably coming in the next couple of weeks. But for today, that is going to wrap it up, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.